All right, I'm gonna do a little test here. Uh, I'm gonna show how to load a Flexi sampler and kind of play around with it. So you tap on this plus button, go to generator, scroll all the way down, load in a Flexi sampler, hit the load button, navigate to where your samples are. Um, you can add a new folder to create your own directory and then hit the download button to download stuff. But I've already got a bunch of stuff populated. I'm gonna preview a couple things. Grab that, it's 120 beats per minute. Okay. Oh, sorry, didn't load it. I clicked the wrong thing. Cosmic whistle two, cosmic doorstep. Right. There we go. And now you can click into it, hit the edit button to normalize it. All right, and let's go ahead and uh, Set slices, you can try doing detect transients. Cool, it hit everything. And the thing that I like to do is set it to slice and change the offset to random. And then just tap in a bunch of steps. And hit play. actually slow down the speed. Okay, let's go ahead and add a modulator. Um, we're gonna add an LFO, because we're gonna play around with the filter. Okay, slow the frequency down to about three. Okay, let's go to processor and add an analog filter. Adjust the cutoff, and then tap on this little arrow next to left to the left of the cutoff, and then bind it to the LFO. So the LFO is going to feed into the cutoff and modulate it when I turn this knob. Okay, and then I always like to add a delay rack. Turn on the ping pong. Drop the wet. Turn up the feedback. And then add a channel EQ, boost the mid. Okay. And you can kind of play around with the LFO frequency. Okay, cool. So on track two, I just let it let the playhead go. Um, Gonna add another flexi sampler. Okay, I'm gonna go load something and I'm just gonna go through my sample collection until I find something that sounds cool with it. Yeah, let's try that one. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna tap into it. Let me show you a shortcut here. If you actually um, swipe up on the, the preview here for the cell, you can kind of bring up the shortcut menu. So you can go ahead and set your slices to 16. And again, I'm gonna set it to slice and random. And then I'm gonna change the clip playback speed to like a quarter of the speed. Stop the playhead momentarily and hit play again. So if you go and look at the clip, see how the playhead is playing at a quarter of the original speed? So that kind of allows you to kind of do a lot with a little, um, with a few amount of steps. Okay, so let's just drop a C on the four. And drop it on the one. Try dropping it uh, the speed down to 7.5. If you double tap on the knob, you can actually just do a manual input. So again, if you double tap, you can manually enter it. You can also reset the value. You can remove any P-locks on it. You can also hide that knob if you want to, like when it's in the compact view. Just tap out of it here.
add another flexi sampler here. Go away, notifications. And again here, if you just kind of swipe up, and that's, you can just tap the load. Oh, sorry, let's go ahead and load it first. Someone in some ethereal keys, yeah, maybe. So that was in a key of E, I think, it wasn't, or key of A. second part so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in here grab this orange handle and then I'm gonna clip it here trim okay and then I'm gonna select this area here and then go back to edit and then fade it out Change the pitch. Let's go up an octave or up 12 semitones. We can double click. Let's see what that sounds like. Now let's go back down to zero. Reset the value. Okay, now I don't want it playing every single time. So if I tap on this second glyph over here, this is your um, piano roll. And these are kind of the conditionals that you can apply. So you can adjust the velocity, the gate, the offset, the probability, um, like how often percentage-wise it'll play. You can re-trigger things, like if you want to kind of get like a, you know, a triplet going really fast. Um, and cycle is like how often it's gonna play. So you have a ability of telling it to when to play over the course of you know one bar, two bar, three bar, four bar, up to eight bars. So I always like to pick four bars. And I only want this to play the second time through and then the fourth time through, okay? So it should not play on the next time around because it just played, okay? It's not playing and it'll play the next time, with, next time around. Let's go add processor, go navigate down to delay rack, ping pong, let's just go heavy on this. Okay, and let's actually go ahead, oh yeah, so another cool little thing here is that if you want to insert um, like an effect or rearrange your rack, um, you can just kind of grab the top of it where it's colored. If you press too long, it's going to select it, but if you just kind of quickly grab it and move it, you see that plus button up here? And then just let go, you can insert something here. So I'm going to go ahead and add an LFO, do that again, go back to processor, add an analog filter. And what I want to do here in order to get the delay to function properly, I'm going to set the LFO really fast on the cutoff so that there's some vibra um, variety of sound coming through so that we can get a really nice delay going. play with the frequency that felt actually pretty good. Let's try it around 1.75. Yeah, I want to give it that little bit of like kind of a, a vibrato kind of reverb sound. And then at the end of the chain, let's go ahead and add an EQ again, channel EQ. Oh, sorry about that. I'm using a trackpad right now. Get rid of the fucking thing. And at any point I could hit the C2 and it'll play it. Okay, let's go to the main view. This is essentially your mixer view, so I'm gonna go ahead and just adjust some of my levels. Now, Drama is super modular. Um, I know I'm covering some advanced techniques here, but 
these are techniques that you'll use every single time. So with that little treatment that I, or that little uh, technique that I showed you where you kind of grab the, the header, you can do that here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a modulator LFO. And what I wanna do here is I wanna actually modulate the pan. So that little arrow next to pan on track three, which is our um, kind of our, our reverb kind of vibrato effect. I wanna add that to the LFO. And now what should happen is that the pan should go left and right. And if I go really fast, you should hear it go ba 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 ba. So that should be bouncing from left to right. So you can actually just play with that. And that's just to kind of add some you know, variety to the, uh, the sound of, uh, that you're hearing. All right, and then I'm just gonna go here and save it. I'm gonna save up the samples. Go here, I think I have an October. Oh geez, this trackpad is so wild. Yeah, October 23, select current. And then to zero fest. That's for you, dude. All right, well, hopefully that's helpful. Um, I think I'm gonna stop there. So what we covered is how to load the Flexi Sampler, how to slice it up through transients, how to slow it down, how to randomize the playback, how to add an LFO, apply the LFO to the analog filter, doing a delay rack, some channel EQ, and then just loading up another Flexi Sampler, doing the same thing. And then finally, um, just being able to kind of mess around uh, with single shots and telling it when to play um, in the cycle playback view. And then lastly, how to add an LFO to modulate certain parts of the, the, the mixer view. All right, well, cool. Hopefully that helps. And that's it. Peace out.